Hi, viewing audience. I am Tom Romito, a board member at Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, and I'm sitting here at West Creek Reservation with Terry Robeson, Chief of Natural Resources for the Cleveland Metro Parks. We're going to talk to, in this brief video about the conservation value of Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society. Hello, Terry, and welcome to this video. Thanks, Tom. Good to be here. Terry, uh, as you know, Western Cuyahoga Audubon has a vast history of participation in the community by giving conservation value uh, to Northeast, North, Northeast Ohio in projects such as Donald Gray Gardens, the Cleveland Lakefront Nature Preserve, and the Rocky River Important Bird Area. I'd like to ask you, Terry, if you would to reflect from your point of view upon what value Western Cuyahoga has to offer to the community? Well, that's a good question, Tom. It's been a great relationship, and I think, uh, first of all, I think the Rocky River IBA, the, the initial data collected over those five or seven year period um, provided a, a point in time, a really good average over some, some years to give us a really good handle on what birds use that area during those periods when you were surveying, and since then, um, we've established a series of 400 points park-wide where we have um, a lot more vegetation data than we did on the plots that you worked on, but that data is feeding into what we had, and we're, we've just started doing some bird counts on those plots, too. So it was, like a, it was like the precursor to a much bigger project, but it gives us a really good snapshot um, for Rocky River, for that, for that area from Mill Stream and Hinkley and up into up into Rocky River Reservation also, and then as we spoke earlier about um, land acquisition, that a lot of the grants we go for um, have a environmental or ecological component to them. So we often need data on what's using these areas, and especially if there's um, rare species or threatened endangered species, it's really important. Um, the, the granting agencies are very interested in preserving habitat, not only for birds, but for bats and, um, and small mammals and, and mammals also. So that kind of data feeds directly into our land acquisition program for obtaining and protecting additional acreage connected to the park district. So, so, so birds are obviously a really good indicator of habitat quality. Um, and the types of birds we find either in the forest or in the meadows, and uh, whether they're nesting or not, those kinds of things are really important. So Terry, it, it sounds like Western Cuyahoga, 10 years ago, kind of uh, set the standard for doing this, how to do this, um, how to, uh, uh, to draw the picture of bird populations in, in this area. Would you say that that's true? Yeah, I'll give Dan Pettit a lot of credit, the previous chief of um, the Natural Resource Division. I mean, he, he was a bird researcher, he and his wife both, and, and Dan knew the um, scientific techniques, the experimental techniques, and how to set up sample sizes, and how to do point counts, and I know that, that Western Cuyahoga was, was brought a lot of people, a lot of volunteers, which is something that's hard to get sometimes. And, and the training that went into it to teach everyone how to do point counts and how to collect the data properly, um, yeah, that, I mean, that set the stage for, for the things that we're doing now. So um, we've got new people involved, um, we've got other universities involved now, and, and, uh, but that really did set the stage for, for what we're doing. Thanks, Terry. Well, Western Cuyahoga Audubon is, is looking for a reason to continue to be, to exist. And I'm, I'm wondering if you could uh, share with us um, how can we continue to add value uh, in conservation to this community? Well, I know that um, some of your members are still helping us with some of our point counts. Um, Tim Krynak, one of our uh, area natural resource area managers, um, has been recruiting members of your group to continue helping with the point counts we're doing now. Um, I know you helped uh, a lot with the Lake to Lake Trail. We put in some permanent um, monitoring points in, in that wetland area. I think those opportunities will always be there. Um, I think uh, I think what's taking over now somewhat is um, eBird and the electronic ways of people just tracking birds wherever they are at any time. And we've actually used that data now 
also. So um, I think I think uh, Western Cuyahoga being able to um, teach those technologies or encourage the use of those technologies is really important too. So, but I think the the land acquisition part and then the help with this big series of plots that we have out there, I think those will always be things where we need help. Great, Terry. Well, we will look forward to hearing uh, the, the, the call to duty from you so that we can <laughs> continue to do what we love to do. Well, there we are, folks. Thank you for listening.